Right, so uh, we've arrived on site at Shrewsbury Abbey today. Uh, we're taking out two honeybee colonies from uh, one of the ends of the building. We're having some big renovation works done. Hey, you can probably see behind me the scaffolding that we've got up on part of the abbey. Um, and a pretty, pretty decent view of Shrewsbury there. Um, so we've started doing the cutout now. Uh, they're behind the sandstone blocks on the building. Um, and the plan is to just basically remove the blocks and, and take the bees out. Um, so yeah, let's go and see, see how Cliff and Mike are getting on. They're just taking the last bits of the mortar out. Bees are pretty agitated now. Just give you an idea of where we are. See up into town over there. Might be able to see the bees, I don't know. The way the light is on, this, on the phone. Got a lot of bees out the nest now. That's the original nest entrance there that Mike's working with the Hoover. And we're just taking the mortar out of these joints here so we can get the nest. Almost ready to take the first block out, I think. So we'll, we'll come back in a bit, I think. Yeah, come out there, man. Come out here. What a big net. Right, so that's the first block off. Let's have a look what we can see here. Hell of a lot of bees now flying around, as you can imagine. An awful lot. Uh, this is what we can see now with the first block away from the Abbey. I've got a bit of shadow on me. Oh, that's better. Just see the comb inside. That's the start of the comb. And it looks like it's going up. So that's where we'll go. But these guys are living quite happily in the walls of Shrewsbury Abbey. Just taking them off with the bee vac there now. Anyone that hasn't seen one of our bee removal videos before, this is a humane bee vac, so that's going to trap the bees in that box there. Not going into a hoover bag and then a wheelie bin, and then on a refuse site. These will be um, sent home with our resident beekeeper, Mike, here. Mike's being unusually quiet today, I have to say. Hello. <laughs> right then, so that's the block break is away um, So I'll just take you over, and you should be able to see we will be able to see the nest in its entirety now. We've sucked off quite a few of the bees as we were going, but we've left them for 10 minutes now just to let them settle. Um, and we've got quite a good number of them back on the cone, but we can see all the nest here. So this is the very top of the window arch on the side of the abbey that faces the main road. And they've basically used that entire arch structure to hang their, hang their comb off. Now it doesn't go in we, we don't actually know yet, but it doesn't look like it's going in that deep, so they've spread out really nice and wide. We can got some bees here, obviously, as I say, they've settled back down on the comb. They've calmed down a little bit. Beautiful thing. I wish you could smell it. It smells absolutely lovely. Going really well so far. We'll carry on for a bit and then come back when we've done a bit more. The last few sections of the uh, honeycomb coming out now. This is where the main, main bulk of the colony seems to be, so... Hopefully we'll find Queenie soon. You happy for me to start? Yeah, go for it, mate. Nice bit of brood in there. Yeah.
that in your bag of the Yeah, yeah. I'll, probably, I'll probably try and cut. What we do is we get all of it. Well, we're getting on slowly. Uh, most of the comb's out now, as you can see. I'll just get down here by mic. So we took most of the comb out. That's the back of the blocks that came off. And what we've done is leave two big sheets of the fresher honeycomb that was at the middle of the nest. Because uh, there's so many loose bees flying around still, we're keen to capture them. So we're gonna back off again for a bit and use those two bits of uh, honeycomb as a, basically a trap get the other bees to settle back down on so we can get them gathered up. Well that's basically all out now. We'll get those last bits out and then we can check the colony. Make sure they're okay in the bee back. And they've been in there for quite a while. That's all the cone we've removed. Almost there now. That's all the all the nests. Well, 99% of the nests are out now. You can just see we've got all these all these bees swarming around, wondering where their home was, where it's gone. You can I only went to the flowers over the road for five minutes, and look what's happened. We've got Mike over here busy cutting the brood, framing that up to go into the new hives. We're not going to um, worry too much about sucking these bees off this brood because we've got a nest just above us, really close. We're a bit concerned that a lot of these bees might be from that nest that are just seizing the opportunity to rob. Um, so we're just going to sort of shake these off and get this comb. But this is what's going to go into the new hive and that's what will get the bees to, to go in that hive and stay there, is their brood being in it. So this is the key to, this is the, key to the rehoming being successful really. Scraping out the last bit of uh, muck off the stonework. Nice and empty, no more bees. Ooh, that's it, all done for today. We are finished the first cutout. So that's where they came from. Way up there, all the way at the top. And this is where they've ended up inside the bee vac. You might just be able to see a bit of movement in there. There you go. That is reasonably full. So they're going out now with Mike. Back with Mike into his hose. Job done. Back tomorrow for the second one, so keep your eyes on the page for more. Tidy.